Hello, my name is Murad Larbi. In this tutorial, uh, I will show you how to code the trapezoidal rule. The trapezoidal rule is the most basic numerical integration method. Here, we divide the area between the given function f of x and the x-axis to uh, similar trapezoids. The trapezoids have the similar base width h, while the height of each side, vertical side, is equal to the value of the function corresponding to the integration point. So we have integration points from x sub o, which is equal to a, the lower limit of the integration, up to x sub n, which is equal to b, the upper limit of the integration, where n is the number of the divisions. Now, each area can be computed by this simple formula, which is, say, h multiplied by f of x of the first, correspondent to the first side, for example, for the first uh, trapezoid here, we have f of x sub o plus f of x correspondent to the second side, so we have x1 here, all divided by 2. Or simply we can say that it is equal to h multiplied by the average of the two sides of the trapezoid. Now, here we notice a space between the side, the upper side of the trapezoid and the actual curve of the function. This space represents the error of this method. In order to reduce the error of this uh, method, we need to increase the number of the divisions. So we should give a large number of n in order to have more accurate value. We cannot get the exact value, but we need the most possible accurate value. In order to have the uh, integral, which is equal to the sum of the areas of all uh, trapezoids, we need to make a summation of the formulae one by one and then formulate a mathematical form to create the computer code. Now we have this summation, so here we sum the area of each trapezoid individually. Now we have similar terms f of x1, f of x1, and so on. So by combining the similar terms, we get this formula. So here we have, we summed the similar values which are multiplied by half, but here we have two terms, which is the first term at the lower limit of integration and the last term at the uh, upper limit of integration. They are summed together, and then this formula is obtained. Now we can simplify this formula in a more concise form, which can be used to program. So we have here h multiplied by the uh, sum of the functions at the lower and upper limits of the integration, plus the summation of f of x sub i, where i equals to 1, to n minus 1. Now, we have subscripted variables, but in coding, we don't have to uh, use arrays, because we can express each integration point in terms of the lower limit of integration plus the step size up to, or the step sizes uh, of the uh, trapezoids up to that point. For example, x sub 1 can be expressed by a plus h. The uh, integration point 2, or x sub 2, sorry, can be expressed by a plus 2h. Now, we notice some relation between the 
factor multiplied by h and the subscript. So this will be very helpful for us, for us in coding this uh, method. Now let's solve this problem by using the uh, numerical integration. We have already the analytical integration value which is equal to 1 in order to be sure uh, that we obtained the correct value by our code in MATLAB or uh, Octave. So let's go to our editor and start coding the uh, problem. So the first step will be definition of the function. So f will be equal to x sine x. The lower limit a is equal to 0, as we see here. The upper limit b is equal to pi over 2. Pi is a predefined var var variable or predefined value in MATLAB and Octave, so we don't need to define it by ourselves. And let's select that number of divisions equal to 10, for example. Uh, H then will be equal to B minus A, the span of the uh, domain divided by n. So actually we can compute h directly from here. Now s, the summation variable, uh, will be equal to uh, initially, let's return to the slide, this slide. Now you see in the uh, upper right uh, window the uh, formula here so we can start with this value and the summation and then add the uh, other summation terms uh, in the loop so we can say here 0.5 multiplied by f of a plus f of b so this is the first value now we start the loop for i equals to 1, 2, n minus 1. Now, s, these are the uh, limits of the summation from i1 to uh, n minus 1, s plus f of a plus now we will use the same notation at the bottom line here but we will multiply the value of i by h in order to get the correct point now we end the loop and finally i will equal to h multiplied by s now let's run the code and see the result. So here we see that the value is slightly larger than the uh, given one. So let's try to increase the number of to, for example, let's say 50 divisions and run the code. Now we notice that the error is reduced. Now let's try 100 divisions and we get the value so the larger the number of the divisions the more accurate value of integral this is the uh, trapezoidal uh, rule we see here how simply it can be coded thank you for your listening if you like this video please give me a like for next videos for next lecture tutorials, you can subscribe. Thank you.